there are some of us today respectfully speaking with what you are earning per month in all fairness and in all sincerity you may not be earning the whole world but there are certain needs you should not have if there were a system in your life that some of you still go to borrow money and beg from certain people who are by far less earners than you simply because their life is more systematized there are certain kinds of bad days you should not be doing not with the kind of money you are earning no you are not yet there there are certain kinds of respectfully speaking society living that should not be not with the kind of money you are earning as god lifts you you can adjust your lifestyle to suit the growth but the pressure of society there are people who can go to a restaurant and millionaires are spending 100 200 000 because their businesses will return back that money that night but you who even if it's favor that came to you favor is maintained by wisdom you also join and and spend 200 000 naira that night and you go back they are sleeping and you cannot sleep hallelujah look up how about ministries there are ministries that may not have the budget to be doing certain things they are doing respectfully speaking this is with love to the body of christ for many years in this ministry we limited the things that we did because of the future and we knew that there will be times for capital projects and serious finances will be needed but there will be need for management to cut away excesses and thank god for that wisdom today at the level he has brought there is nothing we want to do that we cannot do it didn't just happen by favor alone through wisdom a house is built is someone learning now there are people today when you see them you will think they have estates but in truth they do not have a single house of their own why they have been earning a lot of money i'm a giver but let me teach you the truth even giving must be guarded with discretion and wisdom just because god mandates that we give does not mean we should be careless some of you are emotional givers it's not just revelation somebody god can provide you one million naira and maybe in your state or your area it can buy even if it's a plot of land and you can just sit in church hearing me preach now and say this man kai and you carry the one million now if god led you no problem but that you just stand up emotionally do you know there are people who have given to this ministry and called the finance department sincerely i'm not mocking them later on that they made mistakes and please is there a way i mean it i'm not joking for some of you when when they call maybe in your various assemblies or in any meeting they call for a vow or they call for giving you see your colleagues and your contemporaries come out and out of sheer carnality and pressure not the leadership of the spirit how many of you can give 10 10 million here and what the holy ghost is restraining us mm -mm. you are owing you are still paying you have not paid your children's school fees now i'm a giver i've taught you giving there are many people today who even run away from churches because they vowed vows that they cannot pay you went to three churches and pledged 10 10 million and all the men of god know you you are running away your children are running away it was needless systems most people don't prepare their offering before they come to church it is when they see the person who is who is say oh, package your tithes and offerings they just check and look at everything that's why you are not growing financially this is the balance you can't give god peanuts and check what is here one thousand you return it back 500 you return it back 100 naira you return it back 50 naira you return it back then you carry the bad one and just squeeze it and drop and then you are laughing and god is saying i'm seeing your heart you ate in a restaurant before coming to church you spent ten thousand and you came and dropped 50 naira i don't mean to be a bearer of bad news but you will not grow that way where your heart is there your treasure will be how about a system for savings do you know why pension scheme works aside from corruption and other things do you know why it works i will tell you 
because there is an automatic system to, de to deduct from your salary is that true all through your lifetime if they gave you all the money and say be depositing it yourself only one percent of the people who receive pension today will have it they know that there is a limitation in all men so they created a system out of it so that after 35 years of service out of that maybe added to it maybe i haven't put it in some investment account with the little gain that they can now be blessing you with it for the rest of your life there must be a system to save some of you if you calculate all that god has brought to your life today january somebody gave you one million for happy new year somebody gave you five million someone gave you two hundred thousand someone gave you three hundred thousand during your birthday you got ten million you have carried like thirty million how much do you have now fifteen thousand it's carelessness Do you have a system in your life for replenishing? Listen to my financial series. Do you have a system in your life? Do you know there are many people who enjoy birthday parties? There are many people who enjoy anniversaries and when it's time for their children's school fees, they literally stand stranded. And do you know why nobody helps them? Because the impression they have given is that I am comfortable. You can't call us for a meeting and spend 30 million and be asking for 500,000 for your child. It does not add up. When people know you are genuinely in need and you demonstrate it by diligence to what God has already given you, people will be very quick to support you. I tell you this. There are times people come to me, respectfully speaking, to ask for help. And I look at them. I look at what they are wearing. I calculate at least with my mind look at what this guy is wearing look at the kind of car he came out from and then he stands arrogantly and he said i don't know somebody said i should come and meet you i don't know and i said no this this man is not worthy of help if you help them maybe just pay to the school and help the children but not because of the person wastage there are people driving cars today that are by far bigger than their levels you have a car respectfully speaking of 50 million 40 million and you don't have a house it's, it's not it's not a wise calculation everybody says systems you may not like me this night but i love you who soon pray hmm. you came to church you should live wiser some of you there are some money that should have come to you god delayed it until you hear this message because if that money had arrived last week with all the prophecies have been given you God, God has allowed you now because he wants you to now that it comes with this wisdom those friends that used to call you has it come you tell them listen listen to koinonia message part three striving for mastery manage your passion for celebration and some of these excessive things let God build you and you can have to do anything and even give